What up, y'all? I'm T.O. and welcome to my place. What's good? How you doing? How you living? How you feeling? I'm feeling kind of salty, to be honest. I am currently waiting on the Scoops package video that you've already seen. If not, go check it out. I'm sure it was dope. <laughs> it's weird, all right? I'm talking about a video that hasn't even happened yet, but to you, it has. Yeah, anyway, today's video is another tour video. I don't know what else to call this board. It's just, these pins don't really have a spot, really. I mean, they will eventually, I think, but as of right now, they do not have a spot. I guess I'll just start in a corner. Hello, my name is 103. That's a weird name. Actually, that's my daughter's pin count. Gotta keep track somehow. That pin came from Pin Lounge. I'll be rocking with Pin Lounge. Uh, the next we have Mean People Suck. Mean People Suck. Don't be mean. Don't be a mean person. If you are a mean person, you suck. If you're not a mean person, you do not suck. Anyway. Um, I got this one at my local pin dealer, Music Reunion. I mentioned them in my last tour video. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. A lot of Seinfeld references. Next, we have this dove, and I kind of have it on the mean people suck for a reason. This pin came off my grandma's obituary, and she was honestly one of the nicest people anybody has ever met. It's not necessarily a random pin, but it definitely belongs with it, if you know what I'm saying. Next we have this cheese slider, and I cannot remember or find where it came from. It could have been um, a pin from my mom. Shout out mother. She hooks me up with some pins every once in a while. Cheese crackers, y'all had those? I mean, they still make them, but it was real popular back in the day. God awful crackers with some god awful cheese. Nasty, but it's still childhood. And speaking of childhood, next we have amoxicillin. Bubble gum. This one came from Pen Lounge. Pen Lounge be coming with those gems. They freaking pinned medicine. Like, probably one of the dopest pens. And random. Next, another Pen Lounge. Curse emoji. I got a potty mouth and I'm angry. Next we have Ew People. Because uh, I'm not really a people person. This one came from um, Music Reunion. Another one from Music Reunion. But on the back, you know, I haven't actually looked at it. Whatever, whatevercompany.com. Whatevercompany.com. <laughs> Next from that, we have a very popular channel on YouTube, Good Mythical Morning. One of me and my wife's favorite channels to watch. We've been watching them for several years. You know I had to snag their pins and I missed out on the Cotton Candy Randy pin. I'm kind of salty about that. If you don't know what Good Mythical Morning is or who Rhett and Link are, I think you're missing out. They're good fun. Next I have this Kansas and Colorado pin. The Kansas pin I picked up from a random gas station on my wife and I's trip to Colorado. Like, I'm gonna get a pin on the way. I wanna get one from Colorado. Psych, I didn't. I didn't pick this up physically in Colorado, but I did get it from Colorado, and I think the shop is called Local Limited. I don't know, I'll put it like right here or something. I love this pin. They have a they have a hat to go along with it. I'd like to have, but it's kind of expensive. Next, we have you seen this recently in the first was it the first pin mail video? Second pin mail video? One of the pin mail videos. I'll link it down. LimeWire. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And what's funny about that? I didn't even notice that when I bought it. I just seen the LimeWire. I'm like, oh, that's dope. Bill Clinton. If you had LimeWire and downloaded from LimeWire, you know, you know what that is. I don't even have to explain it. Next, this tiny Mountain Dew pin, and it's kind of a throwback logo. It's a vintage, I guess it's vintage now. Is it vintage? What, when can we say vintage? What year is vintage? Like how, in what time frame does it become vintage? Anyway, it's an old school Mountain Dew logo not like it is now before it was like it is now with the twist in it 
And this came from Pimp with Pins. They got a lot of cool pins. They got a lot of vintage pins. That's why I said vintage, but I don't know. I don't know if it's vintage because I don't think it's old enough to be vintage. I ain't vintage, okay? I'm not that old. Next, we have this futuristic looking Taco Bell. I don't know if this is actually a reference to something, but this came from Clay, Graham Art. Their stamp on the back just says Clay. I love Clay. Clay Graham Art, I got so many pins from them and their shipping is ridiculously fast. I remember the first time I ordered from Clay Art, two days, I said, what? There's gotta be some mistake. Um, well shit, we're talking about clay art. Might as well go with Where's Waldo. Did you guys see the Where's Waldo COVID edition? Easiest Where's Waldo ever. Because he's the only person's on the page. I got this 100, 100 and ghost emoji. I had a list of where all these, these pins came from, but I can't remember a lot of them. Some of the shops aren't even around anymore. Like I said earlier, some of these pins came from my mother, but I will try to link all the pins in the descriptions if I can. Next we have this skunk. Phew, little tiny, little tiny skunk. He's almost as tiny as the Mountain Dew pin. This one came from Music Reunion. There's no stamp on it, so I can't. I'm honestly so bad at looking at back of pins. Like I probably have some limited pins that I don't even know that are limited. I want to believe. Any alien believers out there? I believe in aliens. How could there not be? Think about how much life is on Earth. I mean, think about how tiny we are. You know what, I'm not gonna get into that. This is, this is pin time. This is the pin network. The claw. This one's dope. I'm pretty good at a claw machine, I'm not gonna lie. I have several claw machine winnings all over this house. Kids, here you go, here you go, here you go. I used to get them all the time when I was a kid going shopping with my grandmother at the grocery store. Always giving me money for the claw machine. I got pretty good. What's up about this? It's a spinner, a slider, and it glows in the dark. Maybe I should do a glow in the dark video sometime. All the glow pins. What do you think? Leave a like if you like that. Leave a comment if you like that. Comment down below, glow, if you want to see all the glows. We'll do a special, special glow tour. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> a lot of music reunion pins here. Kiss my pen. I'm holding them up like you can see them, but you know you'll see the B-roll. That's how I do it. That's my flavor. Next we have Yaba 200 game. Young American Bowling Association. I'm an okay bowler. Uh, 160 is where I average, and I've been the same average for years, so at least I'm consistent. Now my dad and my sisters, on the other hand, I don't wanna play them, they'll win. They'll beat me for sure. All right, next we have Nap Vibes. This pin, I <laughs> I wanted to buy this pin for so long, but it's like, nah, I'll just wait. There's some other pins that I wanna buy. I finally, I finally bought it some time ago, but I got it. Town. Town Nine, I think is the shop this came from. Nap Vibes. I love me some good naps, but I don't take naps, I take sleeps. I say, I'm just gonna take a nap. Six hours later. Uh, next we have this bread tie, $3.99. Let's get this bread from Studio Co. Studio Cult Company? Studio Cult Co? I have, I bought this, this green one for myself, and then I had a buddy at work, it's an inside joke, but I got him a red one. Red was his, is his favorite color, so red bread tie for that guy. This pizza. Honestly, I have uh, the Microsoft Paint window and color palette and Microsoft Paint shortcut pins that should probably be on here. They are on a different board. Those kind of should go on my grandpa's board too. Like, I have some pins that I just don't know where they go. I don't know how to categorize them. Like I have some pins that are that are in multiple categories, like Pokemon Power Ranger pins. What board do I put those on? <laughs> Dilemmas of a pen pen collector. Currently sitting at in this video 1029. I have some unopened, stored away, ready for a pin mail video. Just waiting to accumulate 
some more. Those are not officially rang in yet. Heck yeah, there's some more pins. I guess that's it for this tour. And I think the next board could possibly be the, uh, the pins that I've been gifted. But that, I don't know, that's my next smallest board. I might just wait until I, that one's completed. Ain't no board ever complete. What do you mean? I never know how to end these videos. As usual, if you did like it, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more, what you want to see more of. And you see me in the next one. Deuce.